Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I will uh, try to show you how you can set up uh, the Internet of Things devices in Cisco Packet Tracer. Uh, first of all, we, I'm going to give you a, a brief introduction or definition about the Internet of Things and then uh, we're going to go to Packet Tracer and I will show you how you can set up the Internet of Things network. Uh, let's go to the next page of the presentation. As you see up here, uh, for the definition, I say the Internet of Things is based on connected object, on connect, on connected objects together, or to the internet. So uh, I hope you guys uh, uh, know, the, uh, understand what I'm trying to say about this definition because if you go to the if you google uh, the definition of the internet of things there is a lot of opinions uh, but i want to make it simple for you for you to understand and after that i say from all these connected objects the internet of things make it possible to build a network of uh, of object you can control remotely and the objects are uh, most of the time called smart things so if you heard if you hear the word smart things put in mind that we are uh, talking about the internet of things and usually the internet of things is abbreviated uh, as iot so uh, let's go to the next page of the presentation so you can uh, i'm going to show you how what you're going to for the for for setting up the internet of things devices network i asked the question up here what do i need use packet tracer first of all you will need what we call a home gateway or a registration server and after that you're going to place your i2 devices uh, that will connect to the registration server in order to register themselves so uh, let's go right now to packet tracer and i will show you all these things in action so uh, you will need uh, the cisco packet tracer version 7 in order to accomplish this task you have to put that in mind so if you have uh, the previous version of uh, packet tracer those previous version uh, don't, don't support the internet of things devices they don't come with the internet of things devices so just understand that so once you open up packet tracer for you guys that don't, that don't have packet tracer version 7 i ask you to download that it's, it's free and you can go to the uh, 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 Cisco Network, Network Academy or the, net, the net, uh, website in order to uh, download and uh, install uh, Cisco Packet Tracer version 7. I already made a video about that. So uh, now, uh, in order to uh, in order to uh, to set up uh, Internet of Things devices, you will come up here, like where up here is say. Uh, it say end devices you click on end devices and once you click on end devices uh, up here you see this uh, second icon up here it say home if I click on home you see there is a lot of uh, object those object usually that's the object you will have in your house or in your home so uh, that's the reason why I, when I put the definition I say object but usually those objects we connect and we call them uh, smart things those objects are the physical objects usually we have in in our home or in our envir environment so uh, like up here you see we have a ceiling fan it's a ceiling fan let me go we have ac up here we have what we call a door up here we have a garage door we have a home speaker you have a light up here and so on you know this is all uh, usually the object you will have in your house so now uh, the, the interesting about this now instead of usually we you understand that uh, when we set up a network we usually connect routers uh, switches firewall stuff like that and, and, and PCs but now the Internet of Things has changed the way we connect we are connected because now we are connecting uh, devices that we never think that 
uh, uh, should be uh, we should be able to connect those devices like the objective you we use in our in our home or in our industrial environment or in our city so that's the reason why up here you see smart city you can create a smart city you can create an industrial so like um, if I click up here industrial you will see the object you will use in an industrial environment smart city you will see the object up here and uh, there is a lot of uh, object in this version of packet tracer so now let's go to the home I'm gonna try to make a simple uh, uh, internet of things network so I'm gonna grab up here a ceiling fan and I'm gonna I'm gonna grab up here that's the last last object up here in, in this list a window and I will put up here and in order to connect this if you are using packet tracer you can use either a home gateway the home gateway you will you uh, they, those devices will connect to the home gateway wire, wirelessly but for, for this video I will show you how you can connect it using a registration server for a registration server you will need to come up here on end devices up here you click on end devices and you take a regular server you know you take a regular server up here and this server uh, have uh, 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 can be a registration server and in order to show you that let me hook up those uh, devices first so I'm, I'm gonna place a, a, a switch I'm gonna need a switch up here so let me grab a 2960 switch and now I'm gonna connect those devices to the switch uh, like, uh, like you used to do in, in a uh, when you are setting up your local IDN network there, there is uh, nothing fancy up here or uh, something you usually do the, this thing so I'm gonna connect the registration server I'm gonna connect it to the to the switch I will connect this up here. You always, always choose the connection that say uh, the connection that say automatically choose the connection type because it's going to simplify uh, your setup. So I'm going to connect the window to the switch and the ceiling fan. I'm going to connect it to the switch too. So now once you connect those three devices to the switch, what you will need to do is to open up the register uh, the server up here. So and I'm going to show you how you can make this server a registration server. You're going to go to this, to this tab up here that says service. That says service up here, services. And you, you, you go down uh, where it says IoT. You click up here, IoT, and you see it says registration server. But right now this registration server is off. So you have to click uh, uh, up here on, on to turn on the registration server. So, so I hope you guys know that so now after that you will come up here to desktop you go to IP configuration and you will give an IP address to the ser server because just like your uh, regular network all these devices will need an IP address in order to the to talk to the to talk to each other so I'm gonna take this IP address I'm gonna do five that five that five that one as the IP address for the registration server and uh, uh, after that you will come back to desktop and we're gonna go to the web browser we're gonna try to access this uh, this server since we give them we give him we give it an IP address already so I'm gonna do five that five that five that one and excellent as you see this page is the page for the registration but uh, if you uh, read up here on the bottom it says don't have an IOE account sign up now you have to sign up for this uh, registration server in order to create a username and a password so I'm gonna click on sign up and it's gonna ask me to create a username and a password and to make it simple for this example the username I'm gonna choose John and the password I'm gonna put I'm gonna choose uh, Cisco I will choose the Cisco and and I click on create and excellent and as you see up here uh, as you see up here uh, the I create a username and a password so now 
I'm done with the registration server. So I will come to those devices. First of all, I will start with the window. I will open up the window. As you see up here, for the, for the specific specification, is to say a window that can open and close. Just like you imagine, like this is my window in my bedroom. So, uh, and direct control, you see up here, it says direct control, you can control, you can open these devices. You can control these devices by using the Alt uh, plus uh, uh, left click mouse on your keyboard in order to uh, open or close the window. And in order to prove you that, if I come up here, I press Alt and the left click, you see the window is open. If I press again, it's going to, be, it's going to close. So that's how you can uh, manually uh, turn on or turn off or control those devices. Uh, same thing with the ceiling fan. So in the ceiling fan, if I press this up here, Alt, you see the ceiling fan is going to, you know, because there is two, there is low and high, and if I press up here, Alt, and, and the uh, left mouse click, it's going to uh, turn off the, the ceiling fan. So I hope you guys know that. So uh, let me open up the windows up here again. And now you're going to go to the config tab up here. And uh, you will go to the fast internet. And we're going to have to give an IP address uh, to this uh, device, uh, to the window device. So I'm going to do uh, uh, five. They must be on the same network as the registration server, 5.5.2 for simplicity and now I will come back up here to the config tab and you are going to scroll down uh, uh, to like where it say IoT server so where it say IoT server you are going to uh, choose where it say remote server don't choose home gateway because we are not using a home gateway so I am going to do remote server I am going to uh, it's going to ask me the IP address for the re remote server that means the registration server 5.5.5.1 and the username we create we have to put that That's, that was John and the, pa the, the password is Cisco as you see up here and I will click on connect once you click on connect you see once it say refresh that means the connection is the connection is good that means this uh, uh, Windows or the AD uh, register to the uh, to the remote server or to the registration server and in order to prove it up let me open up the registration server I will go back to the let's go back to the web browser so we will uh, go access the this server 5.5.5.1 that's the IP address it's gonna ask us the username we, we just created that was John and the password is Cisco so I will sign in and excellent you see up here it say IoT devices 9 that's the name of the devices and it say window excellent and if you see up here if I uh, if I come up here you see now the windows uh, when you see up here the red, uh, uh, red, red the thing is red up here I mean the win window is now closed so and in order to prove you that let me come up here, hold on one second move this thing up here, a little bit up here so the windows is closed, if you click up here you see excellent the windows is open so this means that if you uh, register your devices I mean your windows in your bedroom you can open your window without moving a step you can sit on your couch and, and open your, your window without moving the st steps so this is the power of, of the internet of things the internet of things will allow us or will simplify the way we live in so because as you see in this example i can open and close my window without moving a step i can be in the in the kitchen and if i feel that i want to open my uh, windows if i have a laptop for example that that is connected to my registration server I can access my I can open my window without moving a step so that this is very powerful so uh, the same thing we're gonna uh, try to register this uh, ceiling fan to the to the remote server so let's open up the ceiling fan 
we're going to do the same process. We're going to go to the config tab, fast internet up here, and we're going to give an IP address. The IP address is going to be uh, 5.5.5.3 .5 for simplicity. And let's come back to the config tab up here. Let's scroll down and you will choose where is the remote server. We're going to give the IP address for the registration server. That 5, that 5, that uh, 1, that's the IP address for the registration server. The username, as, as you know, it is John, and the password is Cisco. Excellent. And once you click on connect up here, once you click on connect up here, as you see, it says refresh. Once it says refresh, that means the connection is good. So let's uh, now uh, uh, go back to the registration server. As you see up here, excellent, it say ceiling fan. That means the ceiling fan is registered. So that's how you can register all your devices in an Internet of Things network. So you will need, uh, as I say, a registration server or a home gateway. Uh, the, the, the thing is the same. So the registration is very simple. Now once they register, now for the ceiling fan, we can, there, there is two but three buttons up here. This is the off button. Now, right now, the ceiling fan is off. So, if I click on low, you say the ceiling fan start uh, uh, start moving. If I click on high, it's going to move a little bit faster. So, uh, this is uh, the, I, as the same thing. I can turn my ceiling fan without moving a step. Imagine uh, I sit on my couch and I can turn on my ceiling fan using my registration server. So this is the power of the Internet of Things. And this is how the Internet of Things works. So I hope you guys uh, know uh, what I just showed you. So let me turn off the ceiling fan again. So now, what you can do, you can go a little uh, a step f further with uh, what I just showed you. You can put condition. And the condition I will show you uh, up here uh, for you to understand that what you can do with the uh, Internet of Things is beyond your your imagination you can do ev whatever you want by uh, having a little bit of creativity so what i what i'm going to do up here is i'm going to say the condition i will put is i'm going to say if the windows is closed if the windows is closed turn on the ceiling fan if the windows is open uh, turn off the ceiling fan so in order to do that, you come back up here to the registration server where it says condition, you're going to click up there, condition, and up here you don't need any, any programming skill. So you just click up here on add. Once you click on add, the condition you will give it a name. For example, I will say up here, I say, I can say window, window, window closed, window closed window closed, sorry about that, window closed, and I will be much all, and the first condition I will put, I'm going to choose the, the window, uh, the, the devices, uh, that is IoT, uh, IoT 9, that's the windows, because I see up here, it's a IoT 9, I will do IoT 9, IoT 9, and I will give on, on mean, if the windows is open, so I'm going to, uh, put uh, uh, choose a uh, false false damning if the windows is closed and I will do set I will pick up IoT 8 that's the ceiling fan and the status and now it's going to ask you you want it to be off or low or high I will see I will say high and I will add this condition up here uh, I, I will click OK up here and now as you see up here I have my condition and the condition is if the window is closed I want the fan to be set to high uh, in order to prove you that let me come back to home up here let me come back to home up here I will open up the windows but once I close the window you see the ceiling fan start moving but if I open the window Again, the ceiling fan didn't stop. The reason why uh, I didn't put a second condition that gonna say if the windows is is open, I want to turn off the ceiling fan. So that's gonna be the second condition you have uh, to 
to add up here. So we're going to go back to condition. I'm going to add a second condition. The second condition, I will call it a window, window open. And I will do match all. I will do IoT 9. I will say on. And I will say true. True means if the window is open. And uh, I will do IoT, IoT 8. And I will do status. And I will do off. I want the signal fan to be off once the windows is open. So I will click on OK. And uh, now excellent. So if I uh, come back up here to home, to, to the home tab, I will go back to the windows. So right now the windows is open. I will click on close. I will click on close as you see up here. Now let me open it again. You see, when I open, uh, when I open, it, 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 when I open the windows, you see it, it went off. If I close the window, the, the ceiling fan start moving, and if I open the window, the ceiling fan start. You see, you, you see, uh, with those conditions, you can do whatever you want. So that's the reason why I say, now I can say, if I open my window, the ceiling fan is going to be off, and if I close my window, the ceiling fan is going to be on. So this is the. Uh, a brief introduction about the Internet of Things. I hope you guys learned something from this video and I'm gonna ask you to do some practice from what I just showed you with a packet tracer and to do a lot of research on the Internet of Things because I just uh, like I say the Internet of Things is the future of technology. Uh, that's where everybody will go. We don't have choice. We're going to need to connect all our devices or most of our devices or most of our objects we have in our environment to the Internet of Things. So I hope you guys learned something from this video. I would like to thank you for watching and I see you for my next one. Thank you.